What's up y'all? Brian Latimer here. I got a little boat project that I'm going to do today. I need to put the keel protector on my boat. I've got my keel protector from Gator Guards. Here it is right here. It's super easy to install. You can do it by yourself. It's best if you got a little helper with you. Um, but this is the deal that protects the keel of my boat. You ever watch me beach my boat? I can beach it just about anywhere. I can beach it around on a gravel bank. I can beach it on the sand. I can beach it on a boat ramp. It's all because I have a keel protector on my boat by Gator Guard. So we're going to do the install on this thing today. It's real easy. I'm going to show you how to do it. You don't even really need a lot of tools. The only tool you need is a white crayon, and paper towels, and isopropyl alcohol. That's all you need to install it. I'm going to show you how to do it right here today. So you can use your keel shield on a fiberglass boat like my bass boat, or you can use it on an aluminum rig as well. Uh, the first thing I like to do when I install my keel shield on my boat is I like to take it out of the pack makes this guy a lot easier to deal with. You gotta remember this is uh, this is pretty thick material you're working with here so to make it easier to deal with what I like to do is take it out of the pack and let it just uh, kind of cure out in the sun. You see it's rolled up like this. If you try to try to install this guy especially if it's cold with it rolled up like this you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of problems. So what I like to do is unroll it like that. I'm gonna let this set out in my driveway for about an hour or so and when I go to put it on the on the kill of my boat, it's going to be a lot easier to deal with. All right, so you can see I've got quite a bit of scum line right here on the on the kill of my boat. Now you really want to use paper towels to clean the kill of your boat. But what I like to do is I take a, a normal top a towel and clean the first layer that you got here. If you use a towel for the entire thing and then put your uh, your kill shield on, you're actually going to leave a little bit of a residue. But I'm taking isopropyl alcohol and I'm just rubbing a lot of the big matter off first with the towel and then I'll come back and do my final cleaning with with paper towels that way I can use new ones over and over and get as clean as possible the good thing about the kill shield now this boat isn't brand new I've actually used it for about four months now if you've got a little bit of damage on the kill of your boat you still can put a kill shield on if you've got gouges out it'll still work you don't have to have a perfectly um, you know smooth surface to mount your kill shield on it'll still adhere to to whatever gouges you have the biggest thing is making sure you prepare the surface just like you're supposed to before you actually go to adhere it but make sure it's clean and make sure you follow the steps it's better the better you clean it the better it's going to stick to it One thing I like to do, this is why you want to use paper towels when you're, uh, when you're cleaning the keel of your boat. It lets you know when you're truly clean. You want to keep wiping the keel of your boat until you look at the paper towel and it's completely white. So I'm getting pretty close right now as I'm cleaning. I'll look at my paper towel. I don't really see any dirt on it. That's how I know that it's, uh, it's ready to go. She ready, baby. Now the next thing you got to do is you got to make sure that your keel shoe is actually six to nine inches above your water line so it's actually good that I've got a little bit of a scum line right here because what I want to do is I want to go just above that scum line what this does if you go to spear wave or if you go to to beat your boat you don't want the top of the keel shield to rub against the bottom of the lake or the or the shoreline you also don't want the, the front of your keel shield to rub against the rub roller when you go to put your, to trailer your boat. So you want it below the roller, but you want it six to nine inches above the water line. You can see where my water line is right here. So that would normally end about right there. So basically I'm gonna push my keel shield right up here while I strap my connector. I'm just gonna put a mark. That lets me know when I go to put my keel shield up here where I need to put my, my protector at. Our next step is we need to actually place the keel guard. We're gonna kind of do a dry run. This seems like a super unnecessary step, but it's going to make your life a lot easier when you go to put the kill shield on the kill of the boat. What I'm doing is I'm taking my, right, my white crayon. After I've taped the kill protector to the kill of the boat, what I do is I go and I trace around the kill protector. That's going to do two things. When I go to line the, the protector back up, when we go to pull back the adhesive, it makes it easier to line it up on the kill of the boat correctly. Second thing it does is I've had, I have to apply the activator. When I apply the activator I know exactly where to put the activator at so I'm not guessing where I need to put it and I'm not wasting the material. 
Now I'm going to take my scuff pad in the area within the crayon that we just outlined. I'm just going to scuff it up a little bit. You don't have to apply a lot of pressure. All you're trying to do is knock the gloss off the fiberglass where it's real glossy at. That's all you're trying to do. Stay inside the lines. Just color inside the lines with your scuff pad. And you see that's, that's knocking off the gloss on the fiberglass. Our next step after we do that, we're going to take our isopropyl alcohol again and we're going to clean this again. Okay. So now we're getting closer to being able to put our kill protector on. We have one last step. Now we've actually got to put our activator on and what we're going to do is this area that we just marked off and that you've masked off, you've scuffed it and you've cleaned it. The next step is to put the adhesive activator wipe on. This is going to evaporate quickly. After you apply it, you want it to actually dry for five minutes. I can still see my crayon mark where I masked it off and I'm just going to stay inside that line. You can also use your masking tape to do this too. So if you get any of the uh, activator outside of where you're going to actually uh, install the kill protector, all you have to do is clean it up with a a little bit of alcohol and paper towel. Now, one thing you'll notice about your kill protector that is segmented in three segments here. And what you're gonna do is, there's 13 splines on the face of your kill protector. And what you wanna do is you wanna count off six on both sides, the one in the middle is the very center. So once I've adhered the entire center, the lift of the kill protector, then I'll do the left side, then I'll, then I'll do the right side. We'll line it up on the center of the boat. You can do a little bit at a time like that. So probably the smartest thing to do is, is uh, peel about three or four foot at a time and then tear it off like that. You want to make sure that your fingers don't touch the activator that you just put on the keel. This makes it a lot easier. Just, just secure that much of the keel protector onto the boat. And then as you work your way down the keel, just keep pulling it back. If you try to pull it all out at one time, you run the risk of getting a little bit of sand or dirt on the actual adhesive and you don't want that because it's not going to adhere properly. All right, so we're going to line up our kill protector on the kill. Like I mentioned before, there's 13 splines on here. We want to count to the seventh one. That's going to be the center. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, that's going to be the center one. If you want to, you can take your crayon and put a little mark right there on the seventh one so you don't lose it. Put your finger right there, line that right up, and just work your way down the keel. You remember, you're only lining up the, the center of it right now. Here's our squeegee applicator. We're just going to make sure everything we just applied to the boat is adhered perfectly. And then I'm going to do this right side first. I'm going to take the backing off just a little bit at a time. I have to take the whole thing off. I do two to three foot sections. I'll just peel it back. I like to leave my gloves on for this because the stuff is a little tacky. Take about two to three foot like that. You're just going to apply it. I like to do it with my hand first. Then I'll come back with the squeegee. One tip to remember, always squeegee from the point of the keel outwards. And remember the adhesive that we applied is very pressure sensitive. So you're just squeegee to apply the pressure steadily in between the splines. It's best to kind of place it with your hands first and then come back with the squeegee. And this is the best kill protection install I have seen ever in this garage. The last step I'm going to do is I take my isopropyl alcohol and just in case I got a little bit outside of where the kill protector is with the activator, I'm just going to take it and go down the side and this will take off the wax pen marks or crayon or whatever you use to mask out. This works so much better. Today it's about 80 degrees outside and this thing just went on, it went on better than hair grease today. And that's what you want. When it's colder, this is a little bit harder job, but if you have a nice shop to work in, somewhere where you have a controlled atmosphere, it works out a lot better. But 
I'll get all my wax pen and my crayon mark off and we'll be almost finished with this install. One thing that's good about this, effective immediately you can go to the water. You don't have any downtime or anything. So we can hook up the boat. If we want to, we can go fishing today. We don't have to wait at all. All right, so all in a day's time, I'm finished with it. My boat is now protected. I can park my boat on sand, gravel, concrete boat ramps, protect my rig so it'll last forever. The best thing about the Kill Shield is it's ready to go right now, and I have a lifetime warranty on it. It ain't never coming off, y'all, and it's easy something you can do in your garage. You don't need any tools. You can see I didn't have anything. If you don't have paper towel and alcohol in your garage, you really don't have a garage anyway. So check it out, Kill Shield. I got my boat protected.